And as we come to the on air this afternoon, uh, we've learned that the two men who were wanted in connection to Deputy Heath Gums shooting are not suspects any longer. Deputies say these two men have been questioned and are not under arrest. Now, the man who is accused of shooting and killing Deputy Gum will be in court today. He was found hiding in a treehouse just a couple of streets away from where Deputy Gum was shot. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live in Thornton. And Megan, you just spoke to a woman who watched that entire confrontation with her kids right there. The woman said Wednesday night was absolutely terrifying and traumatizing. She watched from feet away as deputies went and knocked over this treehouse where the suspected shooter was hiding. She's still processing what she saw and is having a hard time explaining it to her three kids. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. Sometimes seeing is believing. We were feet away from him feet. This mother of three wouldn't have ever believed that her neighborhood would be a place where an alleged cop killer was found unless she saw it for herself. My kids are like, they're in our backyard, they're in our backyard. So we went upstairs to go look out the window. Valerie watched as police tracked down the suspect. I have all these like what ifs going through my head. She doesn't want people to see her face because she's still scared. He could have hopped the fence and came into my house. We're going to show you what she saw as she explains it for herself. <laughs> And they just kept telling him, warning him, you know, come out. We found you. Um, and he just wouldn't listen, so. They pushed that treehouse over, and that's when the dog kind of just went inside. It's something Valerie didn't want her kids to see. I kept telling them to get away from the windows, but they, they, still, they still seen what happened. Something she wishes she didn't see herself. Watching the dog attack him like that and drag him out of that house was, yeah, I shouldn't have watched. Now it's the fear of the things she cannot see, the two suspects still on the loose that worry her the most. I'm scared to let my kids walk up the street to McDonald's anymore. It was traumatizing. I went to sleep crying. I woke up crying. I will never look at my backyard the same way. Like, just... I don't, it just replays over and over. And as you just heard Mitch and Nicole mention right before our newscast, the Adams County Sheriff's Office mentioned that those two suspects are no longer to believe to be suspects that they were questioned and let go. Back here outside the area near the house where the suspect was caught is still blocked off. You can see that treehouse is lying on its side where police knocked it over. Valerie told us that she wants her kids to go in to talk to school counselors today because she thinks that that could help them talk about what they saw. She too is going to go and try to seek some counseling because she says she's still very traumatized by this entire experience that happened Wednesday night. The suspected shooter is expected to appear in court today at 1.30, and you can count on Denver 7 to be there. We're live this morning in Thornton. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. All right, Megan, thank you.